a mother. So it left him only with the father, and for the father it was too big a job to run the workhouse on its own. So he bought a small holding outside of Yang Grove, uh, where he moved in with his son. And then he became a farmer. And um, the father wanted, also he wanted Paul to become a farmer as well. But uh, Paul was not interested at all in cows or uh, fields. He wanted to know about techniques and machines and was very curious and found the cows extremely boring. So he would much rather stay at school and learn about math than he would uh, help his father in the fields. He tried for many years to persuade him to become a farmer, but he never succeeded. Then unfortunately, at the age of 17, he lost his father as well, and having no siblings, he was all alone in this world. Hmm. The picture is taken uh, at Gulenon, which is the stream running through uh, Bjerg Grove, at the age of 17. And his only asset at this point in life was uh, an apprenticeship that he got at Bjerg Grove Machine Factory. So uh, he started working at the factory, and uh, that was just the most important thing at, in his life at this point. And he worked really hard um, as a machine operator, and he also worked his way up to become a foreman and a constructor because he was extremely talented in what he was doing. He also started studying to become an engineer, but he ran out of money before uh, finishing his studies. And then uh, later on in life, when he had the money, he didn't have the time. So he never got to become an engineer on paper, but he was actually assigned the engineer title later on in life uh, because he achieved all this from learning and doing uh, himself. So um, he uh, liked his job at the Beer and Grow Machine Factory. Uh, he had his own department, he was doing very well, but it was not enough for him. So uh, every night when he came home to his house here at Östergel 41, uh, he would work on his own in the basement here. We were there yesterday. Yes, oh, we were. It was oh, fascinating. Okay. Yeah, it really is. Um, he moved in here in 1938 together with his uh, wife. He just married Inga. And Inga, she was from a very different background than him. He came, uh, she came from, uh, she was the daughter of the, the director of the Beer and Grow Sawmill. So she was a more upper class and she was a very like quiet and a uh, very gentle woman, and he was full of temperament and the energy and initiative, and people thought that would never last, but it did. And together here at East Street 41, they had uh, four children, one of them being uh, Nils Du Jensen, who later on became our group chairman as well. So, working at night here in the basement with all his other, uh, uh, working with his ideas, trying to develop new things, always trying to look for new products uh, to do better than, than uh, what was already existing in society. And in 1944, he decided that it wasn't enough for him to be an employee, he wanted to be his own uh, employee, he wanted to become independent. So in 1944, he started his own company in the basement, uh, doing all kinds of forging um, and blacksmith work in general. Uh, but 1945 actually became uh, the landmark year for us because in 1945 he received an order for a small automatic waterworks. This was the time around World War II when it was impossible to obtain a high quality pump. Instead of giving up, he decided he would design one himself. So in 1945 he started designing ah, this one. Uh, this became, amazing. Uh, this was the very first pump. Uh, it was called Fuss. Uh, it's a Scandinavian word for water or stream. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a, a shallow water piston pump. It was able to pump water from up to seven meters in depth. And he made 26 of these pumps in total. And this is the only one preserved today. 